Well, good morning and welcome to Coral Beach and Tennis Club. My name is Nick Bola, I'm the general manager, and uh, with me today are a number of representatives who have helped uh, put together a, a, a beautiful tournament that's coming up. Uh, to my uh, left over here is Monica Drabkova. We have Patrick Singleton, our director of sports, Pat Philip Fern from the uh, BTA, Lamar and Neil Towson from our tennis uh, uh, department here as well. Um, it's a pleasure for me to uh, announce the Bermuda Breezes USTA National Clay Court Championships to be held in April of 2018. Tennis has had a long history in Bermuda. Uh, most people will be reminiscent of the XL Open and uh, this is one step uh, closer to getting that level of tournament back to Bermuda. Uh, so it's a, a a lot of hard work that's gone in over the last couple of years and uh, with the support of everybody around uh, here today we're thrilled to be able to host um, a USTA championship first time that USTA is holding a championship outside of the United States uh, right here in Bermuda uh, so if I can actually hand over to Pat to uh, say a few more words thank you thank you thank you Nick good morning everyone well the BTA is absolutely delighted to uh, be supporting this event we have, in 2018, a very busy sports calendar. And uh, some marquee events such as this one is, is all part of the story of getting people to come to Bermuda at a time of year, this will be in April, that has traditionally been slower. But sport gives us a wonderful opportunity to introduce groups to Bermuda. And so I have to congratulate the team at Coral Beach for making this tournament uh, a reality. And it is, I think, uh, the first step. They have big plans to reintroduce uh, uh, wonderful and high-level tournaments to Bermuda through Coral Beach. So we're just very, very happy to be part of the partnership here and looking forward to seeing this group and this event next April. Thanks. Patrick, perhaps you'll have said a few more words. Certainly. Thank you to the media for coming here today. Um, so this, as Nick mentioned, is a historic tournament. Uh, Coral Beach has a long history of tennis in Bermuda. In fact, Bermuda created, or Bermudians created, the United States National Tennis Association back in 1881. And so we have uh, positions on the executive committee, the governance board, of the United States Tennis Association. So we have been in discussions with them about hosting tournaments in Bermuda. And this is the start of what I hope will be a long tennis relationship. Um, working with the ITF and the USDA, we've been able to bring this tournament to Bermuda. As Nick mentioned, it will be held in April. Um, the categories will be the men's and women's singles, doubles, and mixed doubles, category, uh, age group 40, 50, 65, 60, and 70 uh, years of age. Um, and it's a category two. Uh, the USDA has also asked us to look at bidding on other tournaments, category ones. Um, and we have been in talks with Tucker's Point about using their courts and also the National uh, Tennis Stadium. So we want to make this inclusive for the entire island uh, and the uh, Bermuda Lawn Tennis Association. So we expect to have some great local players playing. Um, we are looking to create the resurgence of tennis in Bermuda, obviously starting at this club, um, but also there is the opportunity to host uh, hardcore tournaments in the future, perhaps with the Princess and other, and other clubs, uh, Elbow Beach. So we look forward to this being uh, an island-wide initiative to, to drive tennis in Bermuda. Uh, I'd just like to turn it over to Monica now to, uh, to, 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 excuse me, to talk about how you can sign up for the tournament. Thank you. So to sign up for the Bermuda Breeze, um, USDA Breeze Championship, you may go to the USDA website. The website is www.tennisling.usda.com slash tournaments. Enter the tournament ID of 9600118. The entry deadline is on March 31st, 2018. Okay. Thank you very much. We appreciate your time.
Well, the history of the tournament um, has indicated that uh, we could attract a draw of uh, 100 players or more. So we're very um, hopeful that uh, we would attract uh, what the historical uh, draw has been in the past. Uh, the destination uh, is obviously very attractive for that. Um, and we're, we're optimistic that this will only be the start of it. So it could, has the potential of becoming an annual event. So Level 2 Tournament um, is a club championship uh, component and this is uh, going to be um, a second tier tournament uh, level uh, player. So I think a level, Monica help me out here if there is Level 1 is the, the highest. So yes, yeah, so how it works in the USTA, you have the category 1, 2 and 3. The 1 is the highest, so basically to become the national sh champion in USTA, you would play the category 1. But to qualify for category one, you need to play a certain amount of category two tournaments and accumulate certain amount of points. So category two is quite large um, because you need to accumulate the points to become the champion and compete for the championship. So if I, if I can I just add, uh, the category two tournaments are actually larger than the category one tournaments. And we see this as a, uh, an event destination. So. Uh, you know, husbands and wives can potentially come to Bermuda, play a great tournament, have a fantastic experience, stay in the hotel, use the you know all of the amenities and the facilities at our club, and you know the restaurants and the lovely beaches in Bermuda. So this is a, an event destination uh, with a tournament uh, there for them to come and play at. So hopefully, lots of people coming. This club usually hosts, and other clubs usually host senior tournaments, or right to call it the seniors. Um, how many of those players are you expecting locally to? participate in this or this usually is a big thing for our seniors to take part in and do, is there a reduced rate for persons on the island already to uh, compete in this tournament? So uh, we, we welcome all uh, participants. Obviously, uh, the more local participation that we can get uh, in this tournament will help to make it a better tournament. Uh, the overseas visitors who are coming here are very much looking to have um, a tournament that uh, is a destination event and they can get a great feel for what the island has to offer. Um, in terms of uh, participation uh, locally, uh, this is really what this is all about here, is getting the word out and making sure that we get uh, a very strong showing uh, from our local participation. Um, from a fee structure, we have um, uh, an option that uh, allows uh, a local uh, participant just to participate in the tournament only. Um, obviously, the overseas components, there's hotel packages available as well. So um, it's an attractive uh, and easy uh, entrance fee. I think uh, you have to be a member of the USTA, which is a $40 uh, registration component. And uh, with that qualification, anybody can participate. For the BTA, obviously, April is a huge month. Um, adding another component to the, to the calendar, does this make it even more challenging for the country in whole? Um, I think the schedule allows for people to take a breath in between the events. Um, and what it's actually doing um, is, is getting Bermuda on the radar again for sport. So we have consecutive events through April and of course we have that major event, the triathlon, at the end of the month. Um, but it, it's, it's a challenge, but it's also very exciting. It's actually saying to the world that we're open at that time of year. And, and I think that the points that have been made about the experience is a big part of this. You know, people will come, they'll play in the tournament, they'll be able to interact with locals, which our data tells us visitors love to do, um, and they can experience the whole island. So we're really leveraging our strengths at that time of year. It's not just about the beach, it's about the entire island and being able to explore outside of the event that has actually brought you here. So it's, it's, uh, it's an opportunity. For, for us to, to expose people who would not have come to Bermuda. Well, Patrick's done a lot of the work over here. Uh, I'll let him answer that question. Well, obviously, Bermuda is a fantastic destination. Uh, Coral Beach has a long and rich history of tennis, and Bermuda has a long and rich history of developing tennis. I mean, we, we took tennis uh, from the UK back in 1874. The first matches were played at Claremont, uh, and then 
Mary Outerbridge and her sister took it to the United States in 1876, built the first tennis courts at the Staten Island Baseball and Cricket Club there, and then Mary's brother co-founded the United States Tennis Association in 1881. And Carl Beach has voting rights on the executive board, the governance board of the United States Tennis Association. So we have a very long history with the United States Tennis Association and they are looking for event destinations for their members to help develop tennis in other areas. So it isn't just in the Northeast Corridor or in Florida or in California, but they're looking to broaden their, their reach and give their, their tennis playing members a fantastic experience. And so we have been lobbying them for a number of years now and we have convinced them that we are a fantastic destination. We would like to have this tournament for many years to come. And so they picked us. Uh, I think they were, you know, 25 five other clubs bidding on this particular tournament and we and we were successful in our in our bid application so USTA uh, gives us their full support and we look forward to putting on a fantastic tournament in April there was talk of, of uh, more tournaments uh, and, and asked to bid on more tournaments uh, we currently have a junior tournament we do rather well in the junior field in tennis in the are there any thoughts with the USTA on talking about having regular youth tournaments here in Bermuda? absolutely Go ahead. Absolutely. So you see our development team here, uh, Monica, Neil, Lamar. Uh, they have a rich uh, and, and, and long tennis playing in, in past, right? So Neil's uncle is the vice chair of uh, the BLTA. Lamar's father was, I think he has the most number of uh, tennis teaching certificates on the island. Um, so yes, we are looking for other tournaments. In fact, we bid on the Category 1 tournament on Sunday. Uh, for next year. Um, we'll be looking to start junior tournaments. We'll be looking to start uh, other competitive tournaments, perhaps some pro circuits. And the ITF president and I spoke in Lausanne a few weeks ago. And, you know, we may see the, the Carl Beach uh, Club and the BLTA working together to put an ITF tournament here in the future. But that's down the line. Well,